Yeah, yeah, we'll move it. Okay. Uh huh, you got okay. it. Are coming for us unless we move the vehicle immediately. The internet is teeming with ideas on how to spring clean your car. But do they really work? I'm gonna help you get it together. I'm Anna D'Souza and I'm here to help you get it together. But first, click below to subscribe. First up, how to clean those disgusting cup holders. I really have no idea how they get so filthy. Pinterest claims that all you need is a used pair of socks, a cup, I mean, any cup will do. You can grab this from the convenience store and then just some household cleaner, right? I have zero faith in this one. All you do is you line the cup with the sock, you spray any household cleaner on it, sort of smoosh it into the actual cup holder to try to lift all of the grime from the bottom. I really have my doubts here because we did have a lot of granola, we had coffee stains, but let's see. Wow, okay, that, that's not bad. I, I, sorry I doubted you, Pinterest, but now we're left with what the heck are we gonna do with this nasty sock? Ugh, gross. Now, as a fan of cupcakes, I'm excited about the prospect of this working just because it's another way that I could be reminded of cupcakes every day. They fit in there pretty nicely. It's pretty snug. This is Layla. She's my co-captain and she comes with me every single place I go. However, you can see that she leaves a little bit of her behind everywhere she goes. The only way that I can get rid of this is if I go to a car wash or I pull an extension cord out to try to vacuum all of this up. But I'm really excited because the internet is really jazzed about the idea of using a squeegee and a spray bottle with just water to get rid of all of this pet hair. So let's check it out and see if it works. I really hope so. You just spray some of this water down. Then you come in with a squeegee. Oh, that's not bad, you guys. Wow, that's actually pretty good. She's not as excited as I am about this. It's almost like a good massage. Not bad at all. So now we're ready to go to square one. Come on, furball. Adventure awaits. Leather and dashboard conditioners are so expensive, but it turns out that Vaseline and olive oil are substitutes that the internet is recommending. So let's check it out and see if they actually work. All right, so let's try Vaseline first. All right, so. It is actually giving the dashboard a bit of a luster. I wouldn't say that it looks that much shinier and I'm almost feeling like a, did you hear that? It almost feels like a static. Ah! <laughs> did you hear that? All right, so we have some imported um, olive oil straight from Portugal, only the best for office Ford. Um, <laughs> let's put this on the dash and see how it works out. It smells like a salad in here. <laughs> Exhibit one, olive oil. Exhibit two, Vaseline. I think olive oil is the winner here, guys. I think we want shiny, right? I think I want shiny. To me, I would be more like no, no shine. No shine? Yeah, you like you're like more of a matte type of person. I go with the matte. I just go with the really? matte. Really? I don't need to make so much noise. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're anything like me, you take your car through the car wash, and next thing you know, you're racking up an extra five, six dollars to get some of these. Um, air fresheners. I love this idea because it costs just a few cents. So all you need is a closed pin, then you plug that right into your air vent, then you come in with some essential oils, and you just pop in a few drops right onto the actual closed pin, and it's going to penetrate into the wood. Your friends might question your sanity as to why you have an actual closed pin on your vent. Pinterest. What are you doing to us? So if you want to be a little bit more festive, you can actually glue pom-poms on the actual clothespin. Ooh, okay, don't, you don't want to do it while it's on. You want to turn off your air. I mean, it, it's kind of cute. It looks like a little bit like a caterpillar, right? Let's see if that's a win. It actually does work. I can smell the, the lavender. It actually smells really, really nice. And I'm sure that, you know, you do have to replenish it. So keep the essential oils in your car. And every few days, you might want to add another drop in, but it actually does work pretty well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Get It Together, and I'll catch you next time.
Come on, Layla. Let's go. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Oops. Thank you so much for watching Get It Together. If you have any ideas you'd like us to tackle in an upcoming episode, let us know in the comments below. To see more videos like this, click here. To subscribe, click below.